remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? A mail carrier in Ohio was arrested on drug charges after she was accused of selling crack cocaine out of her mail truck. 52-year-old Darcy Spangler appeared in Ashtabula Municipal Court in Ashtabula, Ohio on Wednesday on charges of trafficking in drugs. Court records show that it was a result of a three-month investigation into suspected drug vending taking place during her mail route. The investigation involved transactions on purchases through undercover confidential sources. On two of the three occasions, the transactions occurred out of her postal vehicle. Here's where things start to get interesting. No drugs were found in Spangler's home. However, authorities say that they did find scales and packaging, apparent evidence of drugs being sold. A preliminary hearing was scheduled for Monday. Spangler's bond was set at Get This Family. A whopping $1,500. So basically, she paid about $200. And she goes home. But I don't know if she got $200 because she has a court-appointed attorney. Ah. <sighs> This is a common theme. So often, that money, as fast as you make it, as quick as it is, oftentimes, when the folks come, and they always come, you got to call somebody to help you get out of jail because a lot of times, you ain't got the money and you can't afford an attorney. Happened to me. I ain't trying to talk down on nobody. Happened to me. 17 years old out there doing all kind of wild stuff. Collecting that money, getting that money, getting that money, spending that money, spending that money. Came down to it. Couldn't afford the attorney. Had to get a court-appointed attorney. You got to think about it. Anytime you on a dope charge, a robbery, I, I can't believe it, that, that that bond was only 1500 though. Seemed like to me, like, after a three-month investigation, they would give you, like, a tax bond, you know, just for wasting their time, like, or using all their resources. Like, no, oh, we got to get them. We got to do something to them, you know, even if they got to stretch it. Even if they have to stretch authority, you know, they seem like they would try to tax it, like, you know, put the bond up there a little bit, you know, like, try to hit it with, like, a, you know, a twenty or 30000 or $100,000 bond because... This is a federal case. How is it that a bond is only $1,500? I need answers. This is the, yeah, the post office, using the postal service, makes this a federal offense. How does she only have a $1,500 bond? Perhaps she knows someone. These uh, transporters, they are something else. It was just, uh, I think, like a month or so ago that I reported on these UPS drivers out in Arizona who was uh, running a, a drug ring. I mean, running that drug ring in, yeah, that was Arizona. Yeah. And now this. And then there was a case about a FedEx driver was uh, selling dope. <laughs> uh, did y'all notice that this didn't make national news. I didn't see this anywhere. I barely found this story. This story is like uh, over a week old. I just came across this story. Why isn't the news talking about this? Where is mainstream America? Why aren't they talking about this story? This is why it's important for you guys to subscribe to independent media because we are not controlled by the puppet masters. I know I'm not. Wow. I wonder how long it will take before Uber and Lyft drivers start getting in on the action. 
because you know they're already out there committing crimes anyway I wonder how long it'll take I don't think it'll take that long it ain't gonna take that long in fact they're already doing it we just haven't gotten a story like that yet that's what's going on but man I don't think old girl have anything to worry about except maybe getting high on our own supply because for 52 I don't know <laughs> I ain't gonna see it but you know what I'm thinking no more talk what the haters talking about yeah.